Hello and welcome to evening prayer. By my count, today is day 60, which means that we are halfway through a second set of 40 days. And at the 40-day mark, I suggested that 40, particularly within the biblical tradition, speaks to a unique archetype. So you will recall the story of Noah's Ark, mythical story where God looks down and says, you guys messed up big time. I think it's time to start over. And then we follow the people of Israel after their rescue from slavery through their 40 days in the wilderness. And then Jesus, in that same light, spends 40 days days in the wilderness. Oh, sorry, Israelites, it's 40 years. And in each of these stories, that season, 40 days, 40 years, represents a season during which a planet, a people, a person lay down a new foundation for the purpose of living out of a different identity. And so here we are halfway through our second 40 days. And I would venture to guess that we have all learned things about ourselves, maybe things we didn't want to learn, and yet quite possibly renewing a commitment to those two most significant visions, probably at the heart of every spiritual tradition, and that is the invitation to live with, in right relationship with our neighbor, far and near, and an invitation to live in right relationship to the planet, which is our home. So I'm going to offer a poem that I stumbled upon earlier today. I found it on a site entitled The Holy Order of Dancing Monks that was founded by Christine Faulkner's painter, a mystic and a spiritual director. And it's a poem written by a woman whose name is Cynthia McCarthy, and I think she's from Nova Scotia. And she writes these words. Responding to two challenges today. Write something using only one syllable words and respond to Matthew 6. So I've referred to a verse from Matthew 6 last night. It was Jesus' invitation to cease from worrying about the future because today carries enough worries of its own. And while worrying about the future, add another day or hour to our life. And so let me share these words. I wake to my own gift of breath to set my gaze on birds and blooms, to sense the deep, rich earth, keep time with the tides, Lose time in the clouds, my eyes wide then can see, in fact, what is the most, the true, the throne. To care for earth and friend. In turn, my heart is full, my wants weigh light. Who knew? that that sacred invitation to care for earth and friend would result in a full heart. And recognizing that at the same time, all of our own wants and needs have been fulfilled. 
That's quite a revelation on day 60. And so I invite you again to put this day to bed and to do so with gratitude and even some pride because, friends, we've accomplished something we probably never thought we could. And it has been hard and painful and heartbreaking. But we're still here. And so rest well this evening, good friends. Rest well. And peace be with you.